Hi, and welcome to another episode of Boozing with Boomers. I'm Dave, and I'm on a quest to learn what makes a great balanced cocktail. So please hit the subscribe button so we can go on this journey together. Today, I'm gonna make the Jalapeno Mint Julep, which is my spin on the classic cocktail, the Mint Julep, which dates all the way back to the late 1700s. It was made originally with rum, then cognac, and then unfortunately in 1870, a very small insect called the Phylloxera destroyed most of the vineyards in Europe and specifically 85% of the vineyards in the cognac region. And since cognac is made from distilled wine, it almost destroyed the industry. But it wasn't until 1938 that the mint julep was recognized as the official cocktail of the Kentucky Derby and Woodford Reserve is recognized as the official bourbon of the Kentucky Derby. So that's what I'm gonna use in the ingredients today. The jalapeno mint julep follows a mint julep recipe. And what's fun about this cocktail is we can make it in whatever vessel you wanna drink your mint julep in, whether it's a rocks glass or a taller glass. The recipe that I've made, which is one and a half ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of the jalapeno simple syrup, and six mint leaves can easily be multiplied two or three times to um, fill up the glass of your choice. So what we do first is we're gonna put in the jalapeno simple syrup. And quite simply, and I'll, I'll put this recipe uh, on the channel, is you're gonna take two jalapenos, cut off the top, and then slice right down the middle. Prepare your simple syrup, one cup water, one cup sugar, and when you, get the, you stir to get the sugar to melt completely, then pop in the jalapenos, bring it back up to a boil for 10 minutes, then turn off the heat, let it sit for another 30 minutes, and then strain into another container that you can keep in your fridge for two to three weeks. So that's the jalapeno simple syrup I'm using today. If you want it spicier, and I will caution you, it can get really spicy, you can chop that up a little bit so there's more exposure to the membrane and the seeds. Um, but this recipe, what I like about it, it gives it a vegetable or yes, a vegetal green flavor with a little bit of spice. So it's not overpowering, but it complements the whiskey really well. We will also, in putting in the simple syrup, put in the six mint leaves and muddle. And, and I got a question the other week from people who don't have a muddler. And quite frankly, if you look in your kitchen, you probably have something for juicing citrus. Or if you have a wooden spoon that's got a thick end, because all we're really trying to do is gently muddle the mint to release the oils that will then go into the cocktail. So the boomer needs to have one as well. Like I said, any size glass will do. Put in the simple syrup. Muddle the mint. And what's great, this is a very quick cocktail to get done. Put that back down, add in, of course I'm going to the boomer first, I should have taken care of my guest first. Add in the one and a half ounce of whiskey, of bourbon. And then I'll just do a slight stir, and there's a lot of different recipes on how to do it. You can use regular rocks, you can use crushed ice. I like to use regular ice because it does melt slower than crushed ice. It's all about the surface area of the ice. That way I can enjoy the whiskey a little bit longer. Obviously, if you're gonna make a rather large drink, you might wanna think about using, and again, I, I tend to throw my ice around. So now we've got the cocktail and we need our garnish. So the other trick with mint, if you remember from the mojito episode, just give it a nice spank, which actually releases the oils. I like to also rub it on the glass and then you can rest it either in the cocktail We'll see if I can get this to rest. There we go. So now you have a purdy cocktail there. And then the boomer will do the same thing. And that will rest nicely in the cocktail. So let's see how I did. That's a dangerous cocktail because there's a lot of flavor going on. The heat of the simple syrup I think really makes a nice flavor profile for this one. It's a little bit different. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe so you can share this with your friends, talk about it with your friends, comment here on this channel, and let's go on this journey with Boozing with Boomers together. Thank you and cheers.